Hi, my name is Brian Cox, and today we're going to learn how to sync up music and still photos in your iMovie application. As a future educator, and especially a band director, I see myself using this feature in iMovie to save some money on a budget and create a very professional looking end of the year video for my seniors and for the rest of my band. So I have iMovie open up right now. We're going to create a new project. So right underneath the gray area on the left side of your screen, click that plus button. We're just going to go with no theme. We'll name it new project one for now and click create. So you see the left hand side of your screen changed a little bit. It says to start a new project, select video or photos and drag them to this area. So we're just going to grab a few photos here. If you click on the camera button underneath the black portion of your screen on the right hand side, it'll open up a little window. And if you click on this arrow, it pulls up all of your iPhoto albums. So um, you can search for anything on your computer. I'm just going to go with Georgia Trip 2013 because it's a nice band shirt with some good pictures in it. And you'll see all the thumbnails for the pictures down here. So I'm just going to pick the picture drag it over and just drop it in this gray area on the right hand side of the screen it's going to grab a bunch of pictures and it doesn't really matter for now because I'm not worried about what the pictures look like I'm just worried about syncing it with the music and you notice something really nice about iMovie is that it puts these little green arrows around the pictures once you use them so you know you don't use the same picture twice Let's do one more picture. Okay, now iMovie automatically sets up each picture going on to the screen for four seconds. So you see at the bottom of each picture you have these little gray lines that show you how many seconds it's been. Uh, so we're going to add some music now. So where we found the picture button before, there's a little button for with eighth notes on it. Click on that and it opens up your iTunes library. Uh, I'm just going to pick something from my playlist that I know will sound good. Closer to the edge, 30 seconds to Mars. It's a little bit of a slow opening, but overall it's a great song for an uh, uh, end of the year slideshow like this. So let's watch from the beginning and just see how everything lined up initially. Now there's not a lot of music in the beginning, it's just an opening chord. Let's just wait for things to get started here. Okay, so right off the bat, we could have used, I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit here. Right off the bat, we could have seen a picture change right about here. You see it with the sound waves on the bottom, where, right where my mouse is with that red line. It goes from a little bit lower to a higher sounding, and you hear the music change. So that's a lot of picture to change. So we'll go over here, you see the little 4S underneath that. Click the blue settings button, clip adjustments and it'll show you how long the picture is showing for. So right now it's at 4 seconds, like I said, the default time. We're going to make it 3 seconds, just to see how that works. Now it looks like it lines up pretty well with the music. Let's watch it, though. So change that to 3 seconds, and it changes. Okay, great, right with the music. Alright, well, I, had a tr I heard a change in there, so right about right about here. Well, it's not too much time. Uh, so clip adjustments and change it. I don't think it needs to be a full second off. And you can only do by half seconds. So let's try three and a half seconds. Try that out. It's a lot of give and take. Uh, and you'll f once you find a second that work, uh, it normally works for the rest of the song. Okay, that was a good change. See, keep going. Okay, that could have changed earlier. So Let's just try 3.5 seconds again, since that worked for the last picture. Let's go a little bit forward so we can watch. Good, that was a good change. Uh, let's keep watching, sorry. Alright, so I could have changed a little bit earlier. Let's try 3.5 seconds again, seems how that's been working. And like I said, you once you find it, might work for the rest of the song. Okay, 
I want to change the lot here earlier. I want it to change like right about here. So that looks like a full second. So let's try that. Three seconds. Watch it. Good. Rewind a little bit. There we go. So now we have a better uh, product where the picture is changing with the music. Now let's just go back a little bit and see how it worked out. Yeah, works out pretty well. Uh, I can go in and change how the pictures look and everything, but now I know that's synced up with the music. It's going to create a more professional looking product instead of just throwing some pictures up on a slideshow and playing some music in the background. So I hope you learned something today, and I hope to give you some more lessons soon if you need them. So thank you.